Okay. It turns yellow, so you can eat it raw. Cocoa can be eaten raw. Hello. But the seed that is being processed to make chocolate and milk, you understand? Originally, cocoa is not from Ghana. It was brought from elsewhere by a Ghanaian called Tatakwashi. Oh, this guy brought cocoa to Ghana in 1879. He was a blacksmith, someone who works with metals. He had to work on a small island off the coast of Cameroon near Nigeria. Formerly, it was called Fanodo Po, but currently, it had changed to Equatorial Guinea. When he was coming back to Ghana, he smuggled six pot. He did together with the metals and it took him six weeks on the sea before he got to Ghana. They used to travel on the sea back in the days. Mm -hmm. He planted the first cocoa at, there's another town ahead called Mampo, it's not far from here, 50 minute drive from here. So Ghana became the biggest producer of cocoa in the whole world through that. But today as we speak, Ghana is second, Nigeria is third, Ivory Coast is number one in terms of production. But in terms of quality, Ghana is number one. Ghana produced the best cocoa for the chocolate that we eat. I think you are aware. Are you aware? No. Mm, I was told. Yes, yeah, so now you, mm. you, you know, no, know no, that. Now I know. Yes, no, no, told, know that yeah. today. Mm -hmm. Ghana, the way our farmers process the cocoa mix is the best. You mm -hmm. see that? So this was the type that the guy brought. This type six, takes seven years to start fruiting. Mm -hmm. The other ones across here takes three years to start fruiting. That's hybrid. Mm -hmm. So which one will you take? Which one will you prefer? <laughs> the real one, you see. Uh -huh. Which one will you take? The, 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 the one that that's not hybrid. Yeah. Which one will you take? <laughs> three or seven years one? Everybody's gonna go for the three year one. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they say. Okay, okay. What, what, why do you want to wait for that long? <laughs> no, explain, explain. Explain. Because, it, yeah, quality. Okay. How about you? Yeah, well, I want something pure, so I'm See. thinking hybrid is not pure. So I want all right. She wants the organic Let's stuff. That. That's, it, that's it. You all live long. See? Um, anything that is good takes time. I hope you agree to that. Mm -hmm. This is 34 years old and it's still fruiting. This one across, after 10 years, is going to cease fruiting and start dying one after the other. You get the difference? Uh, yes. Yeah, all right. So, um, um, in real life, when you have patience, you live long. If you're observing, people that have patience, they don't get up and die in a house. You understand? They grow, 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 and die in a very good old age. Mm -hmm. If you're somebody here, somebody small, you're angry, angry, angry. It's not good. You have to learn to slow down to anger, and that is the best way to live very long. Sometimes when you see someone enjoying, don't just want to be like that person. Wait for your own time, because if God could wait for long enough for a snail to enter into Noah's act, it is means that his door of grace will not close till you reach your expected position in life. Everything in life is patience and hard work. You understand that? So that one is a bad news. All right. So <laughs> After 10 years, that's, that was a great explanation. After 10 years, family. So... You know what I mean? Let's keep it real from the beginning. That is a great question. Yeah, I'm looking, looking like Calabash. Oh, wow. I can't wait to move here. <laughs> Everything grows, right? It's a believer, right? Yeah. Everything that you see in like finished products and finish. Yeah. It's just all, yeah. And I can be a producer. Calabash. Yeah. Wow. But that's what we do, family. We're here at the Botanic Garden. And we're here to just learn about nature. Learn about... Um, Organic trees and all the elements of things that we eat, use, mm -hmm. wow. that's grown from the ground up. So you are going to make me move here early. Come and get the knowledge, come and get the information, mm -hmm. come and connect. The journey of a lifetime continues. Cross, cross the leaf and smell it. Cross it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crush the leaves. I'm trying to see what kind of spice it is. Mm -hmm. mm, it's like a it's an oil. Like yes. Mm. Well, it's your own, no? 
Carry on. Crush it, crush it, crush it. This is used to make Vicks. You know Vicks? Vicks. Yes. Vicks is made from this. And um, yes, mental when you have chest pain or cold and comfortable. So you do comfort as well. Multiple. It's made from this. The white balls we put in the urinals, we put in the weed drops to keep away insects and cockroaches. And the tree was brought from China. This is Ch Chinese tree. So when you have a common cold, you cook this leaf, steam yourself for 15 minutes, you understand that, with a cloth, and uh, you're good to go. So this is Sinamomo Camphora from China. Chinese tree. It's very good, isn't it? What's it called? Yes. Camphora. Yes. Camphora. All right, I was hoping that we start going up that way now. Oh, perfect. And so we can all close up, but yeah, lots, lots of information mm -hmm. about yeah. all of this organic. Uh, these are spices that I want to see. We'll go to the helicopter side. Perfect um, spices. Yeah. So, um, to... um, curry powder is made from this tree. Curry. Okay. Wow. So dry the leaves, make it powder, and then you know we add turmeric. You know turmeric. Oh yes. That yes. is what will give you color. Mm -hmm. That is it. But India love the leaves. In the food they prepare, they put the leaves in the food. Indians don't joke with curry leaves. So the tree was brought from their country, India. This is India plant. Ooh. Yes, curry mm. tree. We have this spice here, all spice from tropical America. Let's look at it. Mm -hmm. In Jamaica, it's used it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I was thinking it comes from. Yes. I have a lot of This is all spice. From tropical America, we used to prepare jollof rice. Mm -hmm. That's why Ghana jollof is the best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it! I love it. That's what. Yeah. 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 Yes, brother. Yes, there you go. Ghana jollof no, is the best. Yeah. The best jollof. Yeah. Ghana got the best jollof rice. Yeah. <laughs> I've, been yeah. I've been to other countries. I've been to other countries. That's what I'm saying. That. Yes, that's it. And I've eaten jollof rice from other places. I'm telling. I'm being honest. No one didn't pay me to say that either. I'm just being honest. <laughs> I mean, you're going to get some leaves. Okay, keep moving. I'm putting this in my taking this home. <laughs> I'm going to make some, I'm going to get the recipe for Ghanaian jollof rice. Right. <laughs> I got to learn how to cook. This helicopter, yeah, has, uh, uh, it. it has stand its life form. It's time to throw it away now. Man, family, all these spices and everything. Spice and everything nice. It's cinnamon. You might be right. Is this cinnamon? I'll tell you what he has to say. Yes. So this is cinnamon. The cinnamon tree. Like everything grows, right? Cinnamon, you understand that? That's the tree. Oh, this is a tree. Can you see the tree? That's cinnamon. But the cinnamon comes from the back of the tree. You have to cut the back. That's how we're going to survive and we're going to plant everything and live off the land again. We're going to go back to nature. Where is the cinnamon from? It's good for cholesterol, diabetes, high blood pressure, waist pain, when you're sort of blood, chest pain, eyesight, and little children. For one to six years old, you put cinnamon in the food for the children, it opens their brain faster. The leaves also we need that. Cook it. <laughs> yeah, so we need that. Yeah, so that's that. So we have this from here to the wall. All of those are cinnamon. Alright, let's look at this. I'm gonna have to borrow some other people's pockets soon. <laughs> wow. When they're gonna group picture, when they're gonna throw this thing out of here? <laughs> right, um, 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 this, this is the first helicopter in Ghana donated by, it was made in 1957. I was given by the Queen herself to Ghana Air Forces. The engine got spoiled in Accra in 1977 and they couldn't fix it. So it was brought in here for the children who visit the gardens to play. This is the children's playing ground over here. Children's playing ground. After taking our gold, this was what they gave us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You understand that? <laughs> there are two prisoners more. That's how they did it. Africa is like a dumping ground. There are two pilots on top of the engine and the rest at the back of You understand? This doesn't look modern at all. Yeah. So the engine opened this way. It has, to, it has about eight cylinders, eight cylinders. It's a big engine in front. 
Yeah, yeah that is an old piece of junk. Yeah, so that's a good modern. All right. I told fam, we are closing out. Yes. Still much more to see, right? We're not gonna see it today. Oh no, no, we um, we just we're walking back up into that yeah. same area, so we are good here. And. Parliament of Hungary came to plant this one, 20th November 2021, as born Jacob. So it's growing well. Let's see the poisonous tree. And then let's take a nice good picture by that broken palm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Family, this has been a beautiful nature walk. You should come and enjoy paradise and enjoy all the elements of just this energy of this us being in the motherland and join this the peace the serenity all that good stuff this one it's a it's a clamber but the liquid in it is called corari have you come across this word corari spells c-u-r-a-r-e corari -E. mm -hmm. it's poison mm -hmm. when it gets caught touch with your blood you will die okay. a few years ago that was what they used in the hospitals to make anesthesia and anesthetic drugs for operation mm -hmm. to put it to sleep mm -hmm. hunters put that on the tip of the arrow and they used to hunt animal mm -hmm. when the arrow gets into the animal whatever it goes it will die so you have to follow the blood mm -hmm. and then you pick it up when you cook the meat you have to neutralize the poison so it is good to eat mm -hmm. so this is arrow poison vine from tropical africa mm -hmm. we don't joke with this one which one which part is the one? <coughs> oh god this one this one oh that is mm -hmm. it's a it's a clamber you know mm -hmm. clumps on the tree so from a lot of the trees right yeah, yeah. Wow. what about this one kill yeah. the people Pimples. Yeah, aloe vera. Like, you rub it. No, no, no. This is aloe vera. Don't grow on trees. There are plenty on the trees. Can you see those trees? You know, this is what we call epiphyte. You see, this is a symbiotic plant. They store water in their leaves for the trees. They also sit on top to get enough sunlight to be able to manufacture their own food. That is, you know, symbiotic plant. They share and benefit from each other. They don't cause harm. This is not parasitic. Okay. Mm. But they look the same, the, the color of But the, aloe vera don't look like this. Mm. But, but it's, the, it's green. 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 Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. But you see, this has tons at yeah. the edges. Yeah. Yeah, sharp tons around. You see, this is more like orchid, you know. Mm -hmm. The orchids, like in the orchid family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah like right, perfect. Yeah. Um, Yes, can we close out? We are ready to roll and family. This is a beautiful <laughs> view right there. Yes, so 